Hey there, what's going on? This is Paola of paolaponsenails.com and I help current and aspiring nail techs become thriving entrepreneurs by mastering all of their gel nail services using soft gel only. If this sounds like a niche you'd like to consider exploring, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Now today we are going to be working on my nails. Now I will tell you ahead of time that I wasn't the nicest with them and I did kind of abuse them. So I do have to do a couple repairs among them. I do have to build a little corner to this nail. You can just go ahead and mix white with some clear, maybe like a teeny tiny amount of yellow to get like a nice free etch color. Now, after I'm done with this repair, I'm just going to go ahead and overlay my nails with a base gel. All right, so now that I've taken my lymphy towelette and 90% alcohol to dehydrate and cleanse any oils off of the nail, I'm gonna go ahead and use Lily Gel Base today. It's kind of stretchy, uh, flexible. I like it, has great adhesion. And you can also use it to self-level a tiny bit. I'm going to be using Japanese Gel and Brown Clow for my nail stickers today. We are going to be doing like a little bit of vintage fruits sort of thing here. I'm going to be using my dual edge tweezers, which has a very pointed kind of sharp almost uh, tweezer end to pick up delicately your stickers and also the rubbery push end. I'm going to be using the application nail brush by Nail Thoughts and let's begin. Now, I don't know where my or what I've been using my application brush for. So what I like to do is to kind of cleanse it or flush it with the product that I'm going to be using on it next. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that Lily Gel Base and I'm going to work it into my brush. This also ensures that my bristles are nice and flexible and that allows me to apply my gel very smoothly. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin layer and then follow it up with a little thicker layer so I'm not curing in between, I'm just kind of building up with them. And I'm not gonna build too much of an apex, although I should because these nose are a little longer. However, because we're going to be adding stickers to it, that process and even those decals, those stickers, are actually going to help reinforce my nails. So you actually don't even have to bulk these nails up. I really like Japanese shell for its versatility when it comes to this technique. Alrighty, so today we are going to be mixing a few different brands and I only suggest that you do so if you know your products very well. Guys, I've been working with these products for over five years. I know them very well. Every single brand that I'm using today with the exception of Lily Gel, but again, it's a sister brand to Leaf Gel, which I have been using for many years. Now I'm going to follow this application up. So I wiped off the inhibition layer, the tacky layer, because I'm mixing products. I'm following it up with a thin coat, very subtle, subdued layer of Cocoa's peanut butter toffee. That is the color. And I want it kind of subtle and I want it a little bit heavier at the free edge, kind of to, um, what is it, seal or conceal that pink that I'm wearing there. Touch it up a little bit and then go ahead and give it a full cure. And 
here they are now fresh out of the lamp i'm going to be using daily charms chrome effect gel again another brand i've been using for years all of these brands by the way are listed down in the description box below and there may be some active promo codes so make sure to take advantage of them now the reason why you want to apply this gel and i'm going to use two layers of it so i'm not going to cure in between it's going to help a self level very smoothly and you want it to because chrome effect gel is basically like the base gel for you to varnish any pigment onto the nails i'm going to be using a chrome pigment and this gel pulls that pigment to it it doesn't like cause it to adhere but yes it doesn't have any tacky residue if you don't have this kind of gel you may want to try it out with your non-wipe top gel i'm going to go ahead and now use these beautiful vintage fruit stickers again you can find these at daily charm and the tough decision of choosing what to apply and where to apply it comes down now make sure you're using your tool to press down on the stickers and not your fingers as they do have oils and you don't want to deposit those oils okay now i'll reiterate that i did cure that daily charm base coat for about 60 seconds so it's not a wet layer it doesn't have sticky layer it's completely smooth it almost looks like a top coat and i'm just gonna go ahead and lightly press this chrome powder from cocoa's very easy to handle and i'm gonna just put it all around these nails i went ahead and tried it first with the sticker but i think i'm gonna first apply the chrome pigment and then the stickers okay so just ever so gently, I don't necessarily want something super, super gilded, right? Like super gold, just like a little bit enough to add like a vintage look to it. Now it's totally up to you if you want to go ahead and dust these off. I'm going to do so with a dry lint-free towelette. And now I'm going to move on to those big decisions of choosing what decals go on what nails. I'm going to go ahead and place this lemon down and just keep finding cute little accents from this swatch of stickers to proceed. Wow, and look at us now. Here's how this is looking. Pretty amazing. Just go ahead and take your gold pigment again and just touch up any other areas you want to saturate a little further. Go ahead and dust and do give these like a little flash cure so that that pigment is pulled onto that gel a little bit more and it adheres better. Again, there is no tacky layer to it. It just magically attaches to the clear gel. Very important step now is to take your base gel. Make sure it's base and not builder, although it shouldn't matter too much, but I like to use base at this point to just almost dry wipe that base gel on top of the stickers working really fast so that no gel seeps underneath the sticker. And then go ahead and give this hand a full cure you can also work one finger at a time or two fingers at a time so that the gel does not seep under the sticker and cause peeling lastly you want to take a non-wipe top gel 
I do recommend doing two layers. So maybe the better solution here is to do a layer of a wiping top coat and then this non wipe top coat. You can also do a layer of base gel. We're talking after dry brushing the decals with a little bit of base gel. You want to take another layer of base gel just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and then apply this layer of non wipe top. I think I just wanted to be done with this and I went ahead and just did the non wipe top gel. And because there is a little bit of base on top of the decals, this design still can last. However, in the salon, if you're doing this in the salon and you want it to last like three to six weeks, right? That's what we promote here. Then I would definitely do a layer of something before this final layer of non wipe top coat. Doesn't have to be bulky though. And here we are. You tell me, what do you think? Don't they look fantastic? Let me know in the comment section if you like this design. Remember, you can shop my favorite brands down in the description box below. We may also have a free masterclass going on right now. So make sure you take full advantage of watching that ASAP. I'll see you next week. Usually we post videos Sunday or Monday and I'll see you then.